Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME Section 8, Division 1, Subsection A, UG 99. What is the criteria for hydrostatic test? We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. Now, if you read 99A, you know, this is talks about the criteria for the hydrostatic test. Okay. So the first thing is hydrostatic test shall be conducted on all the vessels. Okay. There is no exemption. If you have fabricated a pressure vessel as per section 8 division 1, you should do hydrostatic testing. Great. So hydrostatic test shall be conducted on all the vessels after the fabrication has been completed. All exam examinations like radiography or uh, you know, PT, penetration, dye penetration testing, all these things has been done. So after all the examination has been performed, then you should go for hydro. Okay. There is one exception for no, not doing hydro and that is when you do the testing with pneumatic or if you are doing proof testing as per 101 in these two cases you can avoid hydro okay but now whether you like to do pneumatic test to avoid hydro no okay so before answering that what may be the reason for not doing hydro and going for pneumatic or proof testing any reason if you can mention like in that case instead of doing hydro we are going for either pneumatic or going for proof testing can you think of any reason for not doing hydro and going for so himanshu singh main service does not permit wet surface exactly right himanshu so the internals of vessel are such that it's really really difficult to dry up the vessel okay and the service does not permit any kind of moisture in the you know pressure vessel because of the service it may be the may be catastrophic in nature it may react and you know create something else and internals are so much intact that you are not able to dry it up so in that case you cannot perform hydro if you cannot dry up the vessel so you have to go for pneumatic okay Rizwan is saying if client is required definitely if client is saying you have to do it but he will also might have some reasons for that right otherwise he will not say what about proof testing have you guys any time done proof testing No, sir. So actually the proof testing concept mainly lies with uh, either automobile section when we, we create similar part with millions in number. That very rarely happens in pressure vessel industry. Okay. So if a company is producing million components of exactly same design, in that case, they can afford to do proof testing proof testing means after that your vessel cannot be used okay so in normal pressure vessel case which are generally even 99.9% .9 time it will be made to order kind of thing okay even if there are four quantities client needs all the four you know and they even though are completely same with design still there will be some differences right so in that case, in normally in pressure vessel industry, you will never see that proof testing case. But if in case there is a company which is producing a pressure vessel part and the same design, they are producing millions, then it's always good to do the proof testing so that you don't have to be worried about the design. It does not matter how complicated it is because if you have done the proof testing, you have verified. So you have to just make sure that you are making all the next component with same design okay hope you got that okay 